Hello and welcome to Baggy Gaming. In today's The Sims 4 tutorial I'm going to learn you how to make an object tuning map the most easy way. I will teach you how to change the all round behavior of an object that will sometimes also change the interaction that your sims will have with an object to something completely different. In this tutorial we're going to change the behavior of a toilet into that of a bin so that your sims can throw their food in the toilet for example. The programs we need to make this are the game The Sims 4 and The Sims 4 Studio. For a download link to The Sims 4 Studio look down below in the description. Now as we want to change the behavior of a toilet into that of a bin, we first need to clone a bin so we can copy its tuning and tuning ID. To do this open The Sims 4 Studio, fill in your creator name, go to the object section, select standalone recolor and click on object. Now search for a bin. I'm going to use the tuning of the bin with the code 9183. If you also want to use this object, paste that code into your search bar, select the object and then click on next to make it into its own package file. As this is only for getting the tuning name and tuning ID, it doesn't really matter what name you will give this package as you can delete it immediately after you have written those down. So name it whatever you want and click save. In the next window click on the warehouse tab, search and click object definition and then write down the object tuning name and the tuning ID. You can also copy and paste it to a text document of course. After that go to file and click on main menu. Once again select standalone recolor and click on object. Now first delete the code of the bin and then search for the object you want to behave like that bin. In my case a toilet. I'm going to use a toilet with the code 3DD5. If you want to use the same object paste that code into your search bar. After that click the object and click on next to make it into its own package file. In the next window give it a name and click save. Then be sure to go to the studio tab first. Change the object's name and description and change the price if you want. Then go back to the warehouse. In the warehouse search for the object definition line again. Click on it and then replace the tuning and tuning ID of the toilet to those of the bin. So it will look like this. Another thing you can do is change the place where the object can be found in game. To do this first go to the studio tab, then go to tags and then uncheck toilet and bladder, then go to appliances and check disposal, disposal indoor, disposal outdoor and miscellaneous. After this go back to the warehouse tab. In the warehouse go to object catalog then go to tags and click on edit items. We're now going to add some functions to our object. The first function is the function bin. To do this click the add button, go to tags, click the drop down menu and type onto your keyboard func underscore bin. Select the function and then add the following functions in the same way. Func garbage, func rubbish, Funk trash and funk trash can. So we'll end with something like this. After this click on save right here. Now if you go back to studio and click on texture, you will see that you can't export the catalog thumbnail yet. You first need to test it out in game and after that open your package file again to export the catalog thumbnail, add something like bin to it and import it back. I already did this, so now let's take a look in game to see our new toilet bin. In game search for your toilet. This can be done by typing a part of the name in the search bar. Now place your object right next to a table in the kitchen for example. Then let your sim eat something and use the toilet to get rid of the food. And this is the end of my tutorial. If you want to learn how to make a more detailed tuning mod with more possibilities of which options you want your item to have and which one you don't need, please watch my tutorial how to make an object tuning mod the moderated way by clicking on the video link. 
If you like this video and want to support me and the modeling community, please give it a like and share it so more people will be able to find it. If you still have questions, please ask them in the comments below. More tutorials will come, so if you don't want to miss them, subscribe. Have fun making your own object tuning files and see you next time here on Baki Gaming.